Hi, welcome back to Procedural Geometry in Unreal Part 2. My name is Antoine for FDev. And <clears throat> back in the other video, we took a look at how can we actually set up a procedural geometry project. And uh, when I say procedural geometry, I mean uh, C++, not uh, using Blueprint. So now I have uh, tweaked around my free time, a new C++ class um, that is um, mostly what you can do with procedural geometry and in this one um, we will go in part 3 about how to set up all different types of procedural geometry and how they actually works and how you can uh, define vertex buffer and stuff if you come from a much more uh, OpenGL or DX uh, background okay so here's my quite the same C++ code we had in the uh, the other video. So instead of having a basic actor, I just sim sim simpli like make make the class a little bit more um, explicit by a basic procedural mesh, which is um, just an, a class I've created. Uh, going right click in the editor and say I had new C++ class of type actor, but you can start with any other template and, and, and work your way around, but I just find that for a procedural mesh it just works uh, very well to start with a Hector class. So inside uh, my procedural mesh at H, I basically have uh, not a lot of things going around. Uh, the kind of uh, same Unreal Engine soup and um, one thing you need to do is to make sure you uh, included the procedural mesh at H and also set it up into your U project, which we did in the the, the first video. So make sure to uh, to to refer to this if you haven't seen it. And I've basically created a private member called my procedural mesh and uh, oh yeah, and had uh, those three function because uh, actually we we we. We create triangle in this function, but we call it from a uh, post load and post actor create. So uh, inside my my post load or post actor create, I call create triangle, which is uh, just a little stuff I've done. Nothing too fancy here. I'm just defining a number of triangles, um, and I have a number of vertex, and I'm I'm basically just uh, going around and cr to create a kind of grid. So don't worry if if you don't get this. We'll go into uh, into much more details in next uh, video. But I wanted to uh, to just uh, explore a little bit what we do from like uh, you already have something uh, up and running. So if I make sure everything's good, I should be able to drag and drop. And you see we have this kind of grid. And I also think it's no, it's not okay. Anyways. So we have this kind of grids, just a bunch of triangles that are generated from uh, different vertex uh, vertices that we have here. So basically, I just could go in and say, I don't know, I want a uh, 45 triangle and compile and eventually, uh, will it work? It's an old project I've opened. Sorry if we <laughs> cross if we can come across bugs and stuff, but it seems like we're good to go. All right, now I could just delete this one and uh, okay. So now you see, oh no, <laughs> Unreal bug. Sorry. Ah, uh, okay. I see. There's um numbers of triangle times number of vertex. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I see it. So, yeah, I think it's because of this. We have a triangle that had, and then we 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 somehow have a overflow, something probably something that happens a lot when you mess around with procedural geometry. So let's uh, let's reopen the engine. So I just want to go because this video is not not really about how to set up this and how to use them but it's much more about uh, what you can do with procedural geometry so what you can see you can define all your vertex uh, from from the order you want 
uh, the the way you want the triangle to appear on the screen. You can also define quads and stuff. And also you have the the T array, which is which has the array of in32, which is triangles. And the way it works is that you could actually define uh, and add vertex to 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 make. Um, triangles in your procedural mesh and refers uh, in the previous one because we we had it uh, counterclockwise for having the normal facing the camera if you add it uh, clockwise you will have the normal facing um, back from the camera and uh, but basically we also have the normal which is what to one 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 you can uh, play around with uh, the vector normals um, and you have also UV tangents and vertex color so one thing that it might be cool to cool to do is to change the color of the vertex and, and actually inside of a shader, let's say what you could do is uh, let me recompile this one over there. But if you uh, recompile it, you will mm, I'm gonna be able to C++ class. All right. And I could add a material on there, and uh, I'm not sure how it's going to be handled. If we're gonna wireframe, just uh, oh yeah, okay, it works. So you can apply also materials to procedural geometry. That is, uh, I like when it, when I when I make this kind of gritty things. I like to to just apply a wireframe, but you can definitely uh, go around and be much more creative such as um, we'll, we're going to see a bit later uh, how you can um, add vertex color and how the uh, like each vertex can have different colors and stuff and you uh, you you create mesh select mesh section that, that that is like the whole process you need to tell on real to okay I'm going to create some vertex and create some triangles and this is normally like if you just want to mess around with procedural geometry and start to get your hands on on uh, you you basically can just leave them leave all these normals uv tangents and vertex color to basic so it's just like copy and paste them or define a macro or something and, and you you don't really have to bother on this but the the core of what we are going to see in the next one is really here so you had vertex vertices sorry and um and then you you, you push uh, them into uh, triangles, create triangles. And there's this function too that uh, I want to make sure that we take a look at, because uh, here we define vertex triangle normals UV blah blah blah. Okay, and the order that these are defined are defined in here. So you can go to peak def, and you have a create mesh. So we have a linear color. And you can see it, it takes the reference to what we've built. So, uh, but you can change the order of, of there by calling a. Is it create mesh section linear color? I don't know. Anyways, uh, if you're interested in going much more into the engine, uh, the engine uh, code, you can start from there and start to to mess around. But I just wanted to show you uh, this one, which is the function we we use. So we create basically a mesh linear color. Uh, we pass it the section index which is zero for now, could be implemented later to what you want. And we pass it the reference of uh, array of vector of vertex we've defined and triangles and uh, and so on and so on. Okay, so you can take a look here to see uh, if you want to implement stuff differently. Alright, so uh, in the next one I'm just going to remove all of these all of this code and start to generate some uh, some geometry from scratch okay see you next time